Chemcast. Hello. In this edition of Chemcast, we are going to look at predicting products of reactions, double displacement reactions. Get your periodic table, common ions, and a list of solubility rules and have those handy. Let's look at our equation. Ammonium carbonate and magnesium chloride. That's all we have to work with right now, so we need to figure out what are going to be the products of this reaction. By looking at both reactants here, we see they're both compounds. They've got a positive ion and a negative ion, positive ion, negative ion. In that case, it's got to be a double displacement reaction. So the positive and negative ions are going to switch places. That gives us NH4 2 CO3 plus MgCl2 yields NH4Cl and MgCO3. Then we go ahead and balance that equation. This is a pretty straightforward one to balance. We only need a 2 in front of the ammonium chloride. Now, just because we can write a balanced equation for this doesn't mean the reaction actually happens. What we need to do is look at those products and see if they are going to be soluble or not soluble. Here we go with that. First, let's find ammonium chloride. Well, the ammonium, almost all ammonium compounds are soluble and most chlorides are soluble. In this case, this thing is soluble, so we write AQ by that. The other one, magnesium carbonate. Look at the last rule about carbonates and we'll see that if, if it's not with a group one metal then that thing is not soluble. What's another word for saying not soluble? Solid. So that's going to be our product of our reaction. So this reaction does occur and MgCO3 is our product. Let's now look at a second reaction. And here we have cesium hydroxide plus lithium carbonate. Cesium's plus one, hydroxide's minus one, so that's CSOH plus lithium carbonate, Li is plus one, carbonate's plus two, Li2CO3. Those are our two reactants. And now, double displacement reaction will mean our products are LiOH, Li is plus one, OH is minus one, and CS2CO3 for the other product. Now we check our solubility rules and try to figure out which of these two will be soluble or not soluble. All right, lithium, that's a group one metal. The rule says that all group one metal compounds are soluble, so this one is aqueous. For cesium, it's the same thing. It's in group one, so that also is soluble. So we put aqueous there. So therefore, this reaction is one of those ones where we can write a balanced equation for it, but it doesn't really happen. So we write no reaction. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Whitman Chemcast.